What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today I've got a video in a series I've been waiting so long to bring you guys. Today is the start of the Bray Wanderers beat to buy ultimate career mode. I genuinely think this could be the toughest career mode out there on YouTube. The goal of this series is quite simple, win the Champions League with Bray Wanderers. But there are a few twists to this series. Now first up, if you haven't already subscribed, please do go that we're so close to 150. So any support towards that would be hugely appreciated. Go slap a like on this video. If you're excited for the series, I'm so excited to bring you guys this series. All the series we've done in the past, we're Ajax, Everton, Leverkusen, they've been tough. This is a whole level tougher. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Go subscribe if you have already and let me get into the explanation of how this is gonna work. Let's do it. Okay, so how this series works is quite simple. If you wanna buy players, you have to beat teams and to win the Champions League, we're gonna need to buy some very damn good players. Now, what that means is simple. We get, for every time we beat a team, a transfer ticket for that club. And that means in this first window, it's going to be very, very tough with no transfer tickets. Because if you don't have a transfer ticket for a club, you can't buy for them. And for every transfer ticket you get, you can buy one player. Once that's used, it is gone. And one win equals one transfer ticket for that side. So if we beat Celtic, I can't buy a player from Cork City. I can only buy a player from Celtic. Now, you're probably also wondering, why are the Scottish League teams here? And why are we in La Liga 1, 2, 3? Now, the reason for that is, I was thinking, how can we make this challenging? And my, my thought process was, with the Irish League, once we get a half-decent side, we bump in the league every year. But to make it tougher, what I've done is I've taken all 42 top flight UK sides and put them into the Spanish leagues. So we get no outside interference on the league. And what that means is we've got the 20 Premier League sides currently all sitting in La Liga, scrapping it out as they would a regular Premier League season. And then in the Liga 1, 2, 3, we've got the 12 Scottish sides and the 10 Irish sides making it up to the 22 sides. That's it in the Liga 1, 2, 3. And what that means is it's going to make a very interesting league to how the teams are going to switch up. I like the likes of the Premier League sides always going to stay at the top or other likes of Rangers and Celtic going to jump into the Premier League, going to make promotion and relegation that bit more exciting than it would normally be with a regular series, where it's like Premier League teams go down, Premier League teams come back up, and it never changes. This should be way more exciting. And of course, it gives us way more options of players to time. So obviously, we pick Celtic. That's a decent player we can buy if we can go and do it. Now, the rules with the beat to buy as well. Obviously, you have to beat players, beat teams to buy players for their clubs, but you're allowed as many youth signings and as many free agents as you like, because they are, of course, not affiliated to any clubs. Also, our budget is going to be very challenging. Look at that, 400 k pretty much, very, very minimal. And that means in this first window, we're going to be written for this first team, we're going to go in for a youth squad almost. So, so those of you that love the youth squad legends, going to be a little bit like that for that, these first few seasons. Well, I hope you guys do enjoy. Do go subscribe and let's take a first look at our squad. Okay, so a first look at this team and this series is going to be a very long journey. This is the first level that I've just about managed to scrap together from what we have. Been We've got Penda up front. 56 rated and we've got Kelly and O'Gorman. O'Gorman doesn't even have a face. We're really struggling at the scraps. O'Connor, Noon and Sullivan, part of the better part of the team. 57, 55, 57 is actually half decent. McGovern at left back. Hayes looks decent at right back. Douglas and Heaney are two centre backs. And Moran in goal at 21 years of age looks half decent. Then you can see a real lack of squad depth, especially in the front pass pitch. Only two strikers on the whole squad. Only two backup midfielders, but a lot of defenders. So I may try and sell a couple of them on. Now, the one thing I've wanted to do, we're not going to get any big transfer. The only game we've got in this window is against Hibs. So what I've done is I've gone and I've brought in three youth scouts. I've set brought in Ekan Yelman, Fock, <laughs> Damianos, Papacostas, and Damien Ferrer. We've sent them off to Mexico, Republic of Ireland, and England to hope they bring in a load of good players. Gonna need to probably sell a couple of players to make sure we can sign them all in, but youth squad is the route to go for this season. The one point I can take is a lot of this squad is very, very young, because obviously they're hoping to move on in their careers. Away from Ireland would be my expectations, or at least they're not going to go for the majority down in rating. I suppose that is the one positive we can take. But I guess the first thing we're going to do, no games to join. So we're going to head to August and see what we get, what the youth scouts 
managed to bring in. Let's do it. Okay, we have made our first piece of business, but it is actually a departure from the club. Hugh Douglas, one of our centre backs that we had in excess, has left for Dalcode FF for 140 grand. We'll bring in a little more funds. We need to make sure we have enough so when the youth players do come, we can bring as many as we can in. A quick thing, my goal for this first season, I think, is to try and finish in the top half. We can finish top 11. That means we'll have beaten at least a couple of the Scottish Cup. So that is my goal. Top half of the season. But even that, I think, will be quite tough. Spurs bringing in Milinkovic. Savage a good deal there. Okay, so our youth scouts have come back for their first month of scouting. And my Mexican scout has done very, very nicely. Bringing in five lads. And I'm going to promote all of them straight away. Just because we need the squad depth. Some of the most notable ones... Is male Quaster could jump straight into the first 11, 56 rating, and up to a 94 potential, but even 72 potential would be insane for this side. But that's quite not quite as good. Julia Calizzo looks very, very nice. A 55 rate centre back with 66 to 88 potential. Cardinal looks decent, definitely usable for the team, and Dominguez also looks half decent as well. Then our English scout, we also managed to bring in Henry Lewis. Doesn't look great, but we need midfielders, so I'll bring him in as a possible substitute because we've got Kelly as our main man to win but all six of them are going to get promoted straight up into the first squad let's do it okay so with those youth players two of them have jumped straight inside Cuesta come in for noon and Calizzo has come in for McKenna I mean our squad's already been boosted and these guys will fly up in rating hopefully also means we've got Lewis sitting on the bench and Dominguez sitting on the bench so it's add depth to our squad as well we've now got a backup winner which is great to see. And more centre mids as Noon drops down to the bench. But Hibernian's going to be the first game. Haven't decided whether they're going to sim or play it. But we'll play through three sim games and three played games each episode. Let's get to the Hibs match. Come on. I lied. We have one more departure. Jamie Crilly has left the club for £48,500. Trying to bring in the money. But we're here against Hibs. Don't have high expectations in the sim against any of the Scottish clubs. If we can get a point, that'd be lovely. But if we do lose, as long as it's not a hammering, that's right. But let's see. Three, two, one. I will take a 2-2 draw. 100% for our first game. Considering it Burnley are a decent side in the Scottish League as well. Definitely take that. But in a second, we are going to be playing against Bohemian in our first play game. But first up, with our final youth score, our second youth scout report to take a look at. Mexico is coming up. Absolute trumps right now. Acuna and Carvajal, both 15 years of age, but both very nice ratings and potentials for youth players. Also brought in Gillespie across from Ireland. Not the best rating, but a very nice potential. Now, we're about to play our first game. We're going to go full strength. We're playing Bohemians. It's a winnable match. We've got one point against Hibs for our first game. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are to kick off the ultimate career mode. Things are heating up even more. I've upped the difficulty more than I ever would. We're on legendary when I normally play on world class, making this series even tougher. Playing with a shite team, playing against half decent teams, the ones normally the Irish League, but to kick things off, we're facing Bohemia. Let's get into it. Connor. Decided to keep him in the side ahead of Noon, actually. I just felt rating. Rating was key, I thought. I'm actually going to struggle in the games as much as I do in the sim in this first season. Just because of the difficulty is going to be up. So, very interested to see how I fare. Really world-class players, but we can chip it up here for O'Gorman. Cut it back. A little bit of skill. Okay, nice. Turns it. Pender. Oh! I mean, that's a way to make an impression. Pender comes very close straight off the bat. Okay, can to have a ball in, but it's not come off. And Kelly now. Oh, that's going to be a foul and a half right there. Kelly slid in, tried to get there first. It's going to be a yellow. But Bohemian so far having the lion's share of attacks and possession, I think. Okay, Kelly. I know you are the highest rated player, so you know if you want to absolutely crush it, that would be lovely. And he switches it. Oh, Gorman. Oh, Gorman. Shoot. I think on the ball he was a little bit hopeful. McGovern. One of the weaker players inside, only 51 rating. Although only 17 years, oh no, sorry, 21 years of age, I think, actually. Hayes. That's a poor header from Hayes. They've got the chance and they stuck it home. We can see the first goal is Bohemians that have stuck it home here. A good finish, to be fair. Okay. On the left wing here. Kelly. He's going to turn. He turns again. Good turn. Tried to come straight back. Pender's going to chase. Okay, good pass from them. Lucky that's offside. We come to the end of the first half. Let's see if we can just whack it up. You never know. One final attack of the half. Still good, actually. Don't blow your whistle. Right there we go. Just got time to swing the ball in. Kelly's there. Come on. 
Let's go, 1-1. One, one. I told you there was time to stick it in the back of the net. Okay, I thought they hadn't put the goal up straight away. I thought it was offside. But that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Who is it that's bagged that first goal? O'Connor criticised him a little bit, but Kelly swings the ball in. He gets ahead of his man, and he heads that one home. No idea how to pronounce these names. Kalitso, very good, very good, not enough. Just wide, and we're lucky for it. Come forwards. Charge forwards, Hayes from right back here. He plays a pass through, it's Pender. And I can see the pass, O'Gorman's there. And at the back post, I can see Kelly, it's a heavy, heavy cross. We've got two fixtures, two days in a row. It's gonna be an absolute nightmare for squad fitness. And McGovern here, and it's Grant. He can swing a ball in, that's a decent ball. He's not quite gonna get there though. Whacked it up the pitch. O'Connor takes it. Okay, I see you on the left wing. Harry Lewis, or Henry Lewis, I don't remember what your name is. Skills, takes him on, turns. That would have been a heroic moment on his debut, the 17-year-old right there. Last chance for the game, Pender's here. We play it out wide to O'Gorman, I think that's going to be it. There you go, the full-time whistle, a 1-1 draw. We'll take that for the first game. No transfer tickets, sadly, but a decent result nonetheless. And plenty of time to compile a load of them before the January transfer winner. And even then, I think I may save a load of them for season two. But a decent start. I'll take a 1-1 draw. No wins yet in the series, but no losses either. So, you know, we'll definitely take that. Next game we're going to be sitting, and it's, I think, against Rangers. So, very, very tough there. No expectations at all. Let's get to it. Here we are, next game up to Sim. Rangers at home. I mean, if we can get a result here, that'd be insane. But so far, they've smashed Derry and Bohemian. Hopefully, we don't get smashed as well. Moral lost some great players in there. Let's see, 3 2 1. Only a 1 0 defeat compared to the other team's results. I will take that. Next up, we've got another Irish side to face. We're playing Derry City. This is a winnable game. Let's get to it. Here we are, second game of the episode. Last round, we did lose to Rangers. Hope we can get our first victory of the series here at home against Derry City. Should be a good one. Let's get to it. Hayes, they're playing it down the line here. Dominguez. Not our first choice Mexican centre back, but could be one that comes into the side. Could have a full Mexican back line. Carrizo, he's the main guy. He's an absolute giant as well. Good blocking from Dominguez there, though. And they played it short. McNamee. They've got space in here. Don't you dare, ref. I know what they're like. I was thinking, don't give a pen for that. Cuesta, the Mexicans. Cuesta. And he can chip it up for Pender here. Chase that son. He's not going to get there in time. Okay, I'm going more aggressive for the second half. I brought on Sullivan, our CDM and captain. And I brought on the young striker, Ellis. Meaning we have a duo up front now. See if that can really make the difference and change the course of this game. Okay. Kalitza. Not good enough on the turn. Come on. That's an easy one for Moran. Hasn't been particularly challenged. Conceded a goal earlier in the first game. But really hasn't had too much to worry about so far. We can play Harry Lewis here. Ellis. Okay, we've got good men on here. Oh, come on, Ellis! Ellis, back the goal! Come on, son! Stuck it wide! Okay, watch out. Watch out. Good defending. Hayes hasn't done enough over yet. Press it, press it! Don't! There he just hit that one over. Kelly tried to turn his man without any success. And Dominguez here. Pressing on McDonough. No middle. idea if that's correct, correct pronunciation. Ref! Foul on man in my eyes. There's a goal kick either way. Striding forward. They swing the ball in. No! Oh, and in the 87th minute, they've stuck it home. We look like we might get defeated at Derry here. Not what we want. Oh, come on. It's only 1 0. But the late goals cost us right there. And we miss out on a point. That would have been huge. We'd have loved it there, but. No luck. Fairly equal game. I'm going to be simming next, and I can't remember who we're playing. I think it's Waterford. Let's get to it. Final sim of the episode. We're up against Waterford here, and we're currently sitting second bottom. Not where we want to sit, but it doesn't usually surprise me to be honest. Can we get the result here? They're not playing too well either, but let's see. Pender in the second minute. That's what we like to see. Feeny bags a goal back. I mean, it's a 1-1 one, one draw, and that's also going to be the final game in terms of the league this season. Our final game we're going to be playing is going to be in the Copa De Espana, where we're going to be facing off against Cork City. It's a winnable one. Let's get to it. 
Here we are, it is the Copa de España right here. The first round, we're facing all against Cork City. Definitely a winnable game. Transfer ticket up for grabs, and on top of that, I place, and I expect what will be the round of 32. It must be, because there's only 42 teams in, so a win here would be absolutely huge. We please our board, which would be perfect. We don't want to get sacked. And that would be an absolute nothing. 37 year old keeper in net for Cork. We're talking about very difficult couple of fixtures. Literally, tomorrow in the series, like 25 5th of September today. On the 26th of uh, September, we're facing Kilmarnock. The squad is being stretched to its absolute limits, but another team is playing in green and blue today, or green versus blue. Celtic and Rangers have drawn each other in the first round. That's going to be a cracker, but right here, right now, we're Bray Wanderers and we're facing Cork. The Gorman. I want to get our first win here. I can feel like a cup victory would be beautiful. Now, if we win in extra time, it's all fair game. It's just if we win. I, I don't know whether this goes to replay or not, so. Really, I just want to get the win done and dusted. That's exactly what we need. Get it sorted nice and quickly. Oh, no. Cork seem to have other ideas. Great defending Gibbons there. No! How has he whistled that in from there with a Cork City player? Do not know, but we're one down. It's Buckley that sticks at home for Cork right here. Okay, we can play forward Sullivan here. And back to Pender. Can play it on. Back Kelly, chip it through. Come on, someone, big head. Oh, too big a head. No corner sucking over. Oh, he's missed it. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition. Okay, if he's onside, he's offside. If he was on, that would have been beautiful. Come on, no. No, no, no. Keep up, Moran. Good keeping, good keeping. That means mistakes from defense. Okay, easy interception right there, Gibbons. Up to Gorman. Cuts it back. Just going to play it backwards now. I can see the next pass on the left-hand side. Come on, snuck it through. Kelly's there. With Square. Horrendous pass, but O'Connor's tackled. Who missed the last chance. Sullivan, O'Gorman, chip it up for Pender. Come on, be onside. Please be onside. I think it is. Come on, let's go. Great pass and move. And Pender's the man to make it 1-1 here. Back in the tie. Come on. Uh, oof, we needed that tackle. And McGovern flying in twice. Make sure no pass gets past him. Although they're coming forward here, they're going to get a full shot to the half here. Just make sure we defend it well. Thank you, Moran. They're going to get a corner here. Big stop. We can get. Oh, I didn't get that pass off. Kalika's coming back. Not enough. They've made it 2 1 Cork City here. It's a good, a good pass. A clever one. Kareka couldn't quite get back in time. And it's Shepard. Played well today. And he's made it 2 1 to Cork. Okay, come on. Good passing. Sullivan, stick it home. Should have finished that. It's a great passing move between Sullivan and Pender there. Come on. Watch out. Watch out. Clever low ball there. Almost tricked us all. We need to get possession back from Cork if we want to score. And we have to score. But if we can see it at the same time, it could be all over. Great stop. Great, great stop. That was insane. And the camera is running out of battery, what we like to see. Come on, two minutes. This is it. I want to get the win. So we need to equalise here. No. We're going to get one final chance. This is it. This is it. Maybe the chance to salvage something Come on. This game. Go on. Little pass. It's still on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Find it. Come on. Little passing. Come on. No. Chance. Come on, maybe. No. Couldn't quite stick it home in the end there. And we've been kicked out of the cup. Another defeat. I think what this proves is how tough this series is going to be. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. What am I on about? We've got to take a look at the league tables first. But no. So unlucky there. Let's take a look at the tables and then we can end the episode off. Okay, to finish off the episode, as I was trying to say, let's take a look at the leagues. As you can see, it ain't looking too good. Three points from our first five games. I did expect it to be this tough and it's really not missing any of the points. Limerick sit bottom yet to score, so at least we're not sitting there. But in real life, four teams go down, so in reality, we're sitting in that relegation zone, which is exactly where the team will fire me if I'm sitting by the end of the season. However, still plenty of time to pick it up. And I guess there is still plenty of time to improve. Dundee and St. Mirren not having the greatest start of the season. Any of the Irish teams in the top half? Yes, Dundalk and Delhi City both managing to sit in the top half. Dundalk in the past. Celtic absolutely crushing it. No real shock to me. 
Got five from five. I can see them. And Rangers really rocking the league in this first season. The playoffs, however, really anyone's game. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm so excited to be bringing you guys this series. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.